Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in to the future of college football. So guys, this is the full 133 team bracket that I'm doing for college football here in 2023. Just as kind of like a fun thing to follow along. Right now I have all the teams ranked on the current ESPN FPI. It's not a perfect metric, but it is good enough. And you can see many of these teams, because there are 133, it's an odd number, many teams getting the first round by. This is kind of like the March Madness first four, I would say. You've got UL Monroe taking on UMass, the winner Faces Alabama, this Alabama team very susceptible to an upset. We know they've started the season tough. You've got UTEP taking on Arkansas State. You've got Colorado State and Nevada. Winner gets Florida State, who's sitting at number five overall. North Texas taking on Florida International. And then we've got Ken State versus Akron. And that's the last one. So guys, I'm going to be doing it actually on my iPad. I'm going to be screen recording it. I tried to do a around a 363-team college basketball tournament bracket. Uh, my cat ended up destroying it, unfortunately, because uh, it, it was a physical bracket. It, it was like paper pencil. I was writing on it. My cat attacked the thing, and now I'm just going to be doing something a little bit different to try and help my computer out because if I open a bunch of tabs in my computer, I do not think it'll record, so it's just going to be easier to do it that way. So the first game of the tournament... You can see it's UMass taking on UL Monroe. And unfortunately, when it comes to this, you know, little matchup simulator, they don't have the 2023 rosters, but I can edit certain quarterbacks out and things like that. So that's what I'll be doing. I was waiting to see if they would actually update the rosters, but they haven't done it. Either way, it's just a cool experiment. Anyways, we are going to up this temperature just a little bit. And we'll get a little nice frying game here. I would expect UL Monroe to win this game. And see, there we go. Louisiana Monroe. They will face Alabama. That's a very nice win for their program. Do we just hit on this? All right, we can officially start it, I believe. And yes, so we've got 29 to 26. UL Monroe. They're facing Alabama. And you know what? This is a UL Monroe team. They're going to be very... Mode, there they are right there. They're going to be very motivated against an Alabama team who just lost to Texas. I could see UL Monroe possibly pulling off an upset in that game. Next, we've got Arkansas State taking on UTEP. Arkansas State, horrible. The winner of this matchup will face USC. And that's very important because USC this year, they've got a bad defense. You know, Lincoln Riley, it is what it is. Let's see. I'm expecting UTEP to win this game. Wow. So Arkansas State starts the season losing 73 to nothing. They say, you know what? We're going to come back and we're going to annihilate UTEP. And, and what a win this is. 24 to 3. Arkansas State, that's some dominant defense. If I was USC, you got to be at least a little bit worried Worried after that performance. Uh, the next game we do have, it is Colorado State and Nevada. Colorado State coming into this game, slight favorites. The winner of this game will take on Florida State. It is beautiful weather. It's a little snowy. Wow, amazing defensive performance from Colorado State. This Colorado State team, you see a game like that, it's impressive. I'm sorry. I like what Colorado State's doing right there. So Colorado State will move on. 13 to nothing. Lower scoring games. We like to see these lower scoring games. The defenses are stepping up. Oh my goodness. We've got North Texas taking on FIU. North Texas coming into this game. 52 point favorites. They're, they were so good last year. Let's see. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Florida International. You're joking me. You're joking. They're going to move on somehow. Who will they face? Oh, they're facing Ohio State. Got Florida International. You're, you're kidding. You're kidding. Uh, next, we have Ken State taking on Akron, the Zips. So, Ken State, I had to sub out their quarterback because he transferred to UCLA. I'm still expecting Ken State to win this game. And, oh, wow. Ken State thrashes Akron 43-10 to uh, in the Week 1 matchup. So we're going to go ahead and give Ken State that easy win. They will take on Georgia now. Go ahead and submit that. And we are on to the official first round. It is the upstart UL Monroe taking on Jalen Milrow. 
and the Alabama Crimson Tide. And guys, Alabama, can they do it? It is historically cold temperatures in Tuscaloosa. Upset alert possible for this one. Let's see what happens. Alabama, and they do end up winning in frigid temperatures. The final score of this game, Bama moves on 41-6. to Very good effort from UL Monroe. You've got to credit them. But Alabama will move on, and they will face the winner of Marshall and Houston. So this is a pick em game, very even, both Marshall and Houston. Actually, let me edit out Clayton Tune. Who should I put in this no name? Yeah, we'll put this. This is unfortunate for them. I got to take Clayton Tune out of it. So this is probably going to be Marshall winning this game, but we will see. Uh, winner faces Alabama, and Marshall does come away with the victory. The Thundering Herd looking for a program-changing win against Alabama. They're moving on. They're looking for a national title. Next, we've got Texas Tech taking on Virginia, and, and this should be an absolute blowout here. This game should not be close, you would think. I'm going to leave Brendan Armstrong in for Virginia as a courtesy because I know they're really bad. And Brendan Armstrong might actually be a detriment to... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this Texas Tech team, man. I think Texas Tech might win it all. I really do. When you have a game like that, I mean, that's a thrashing. Texas Tech moves on. They did start 0-2 in real life. They were very unfortunate losses, though. Next, we have Army and California. California, they've been really good this year early on. They're coming into this game with the superstar running back, and it is the record global warming that we all feared, but we also have the issue with a monsoon in this game. Heavy rainfall, heavy, you know, temp high temperature, and we do have very heavy winds. So this game, very low scoring. Army, look out for the upset here due to the weather. Army might just upset them because of the weather. Oh my goodness. California gets it done. 15 to 10, possibly with a safety. Possibly with a safety in that game. Good for California to fight through the adversity. That's a very impressive win. And now we do have Buffalo taking on Utah. This game's going to be a blowout. Utah, it's a little bit colder. It's about 10 degrees there right now with some light snow. This is going to be Utah sitting in this game, 35-point favorites. They've got Cam Rising back at quarterback. Oh, we almost had it. We almost had the first major upset, but Utah gets it done barely. 23-21, to 21, they advance. All right, moving on. It is a very interesting matchup. You've got Minnesota and Air Force. And ladies and gentlemen, I've said I think Air Force in real life, they're probably going to make the playoff. And in this game, it's going to be very cold. There's going to be no, you know, negative 15, but it's going to be sunny. So there's no precipitation. There's no wind, low scoring. You would think Air Force, even entering this game as slight favorites, you'd think they would win. And they do end up losing. You're kidding me. 13 to 10, Minnesota gets it done. So Minnesota actually is 2 0 in real life, and they win this simulation game there. They will face Utah in the next round. The next game we have it is Oregon State taking on Central Michigan. Oregon State, unfortunately, I cannot edit in DJ Ui Lungile. but you would still hope they would win this game. I mean, 70 degrees, perfect, perfect weather. And they do end up dropping a 50-burger. Wow. That's an impressive win for Oregon State there without their starting quarterback. They win 51-21 to against the bad Central Michigan team. I don't think any MAC teams are going to be winning. Uh, next, we do have Stanford taking on Baylor. This is basically a pick -em game at this point, I would say, based on how bad Baylor has been at the start of the year. We will see with Stanford and Baylor very impressive on defense they end up getting the win in this one 35 to 6 over the Stanford Cardinal at home so Stanford almost 35 to 35 to 6 there they will be advancing they will be facing Oregon State uh, next we do have Oklahoma so Oklahoma starting off the season amazing they're taking on New Mexico this is like a 40 point spread this game's gonna get ug ugly very quickly you would expect and it's kind of a boring effort there they end up winning 37 to 10 so Oregon will be advancing as well no surprise with them being ranked 
explore that they were the eighth, the eight seed. They will face the winner of Kansas and Fresno State. I would actually favorite Fresno State in this game. I think Fresno State probably wins it against Kansas. We will see good weather, and they do. Fresno State, maybe a little Cinderella run from them. That this is technically an upset because they're the lower seed. They end up beating Kansas and Jalen Daniels 30 to 21. Uh, and then the next game, very random non-conference game. It is Auburn taking on Charlotte, and it will be played in pretty cold temperatures. We're going to have some heavy snow possible, and we will see Auburn at home. Oh, and we got it. Charlotte University, congratulations are in order. For the major upset win over Auburn, the SEC gets off to a really bad start in this simulation. Wow. So this Charlotte team, they might be a dark horse to win the national title after something like that. They move on. And we are on to the next game. It is SMU and Georgia State. Both of these teams with great opportunity now because Charlotte pulled off the upset. They're going to be facing Charlotte, whoever wins this game. I think it's going to be SMU. They just joined, and there it is. They just join the Power Four Conference, and they end up picking up a very solid 48-27 to victory against a Georgia State team, thanks for coming out. You can make the consolation bracket. Uh, but when it comes to this next game, we do have an issue. So Notre Dame, unfortunately, because Sam Houston, they were formerly Sam Houston State, they just joined the FBS, so they actually are not even in here. So I'm giving Louisiana Monroe another opportunity against Notre Dame, who comes in ranked number nine. This should be a very easy win for Notre Dame. You would think they enter 35-point favorites, and they do get the win, not by as much as I thought they were going to win by, but they do get the win 35-16. to So you got to feel for Sam Houston. They don't even get a chance. That's just It's sad to see. It really is. Uh, the next matchup we have, it is Tulane taking on Western Kentucky. This is a brutal matchup for Tulane. I am going to have to get rid of Tajay Spears. We're going to throw a no name in there. So this may end up causing Tulane to lose. We're going to leave it on. Very nice weather. Tajay Spears is out. And they do end up winning. So Tulane gets it done. Very good game. Good defensive game for them. 31-24, to 24. they had such a great year last year, they will be moving on, and they're going to be taking on Notre Dame, so that's an upset potential right there. The next matchup we have, it is Cincinnati, coming in pretty high ranked in this one at 24 against UNLV, UNLV is not good, we're going to lower this down to 30 degrees, but it's still going to be nice weather, so Cincinnati you would think, and what an upset, UNLV straight from Las Vegas to 30 degree weather. In a major upset, upset shocker, wow, 44 points in 30 degree weather for UNLV. That's just, that's amazing football for them. That's a program changer right there. Would you look at this? It, I, I like what Vanderbilt's doing here, I have to say. I think Vanderbilt wins this game. Let me actually get rid of Will Levis quickly. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just throw in a no name, try and help Vanderbilt win this game, honestly. I like that Vanderbilt is challenging an SEC team. This is good. This is really good. Vanderbilt and Kentucky, an old SEC matchup. And Vanderbilt still loses, even with Kentucky starting their third string quarterback. They cannot catch a break. So Kentucky will be moving on. And Kentucky faces UNLV now. And in the final matchup today, it is USC taking on Arkansas State. Arkansas State with a little momentum. I have to admit, I am... A big USC fan. I love Lincoln Riley. He's kind of my hero. So uh, USC is going to destroy him. We're going to up the temperature a little bit because we want to make sure Caleb Williams is playing in perfect. You know, does Caleb like 75 degrees? Does he like 65? What do we want? What is the optimal degrees for Caleb Williams? I'm a big USC fan, ladies and gentlemen. But we're going to go ahead and play this game. You've got to be kidding me. This is just ridiculous. This is such a scam against... Ca Where is Caleb Williams? How does Caleb Williams... Was Caleb Williams even playing in this game? Do you have the stats? Where... Oh my god. 
It's just not even realistic at this point, folks. This is a joke. This is a joke. How, this Arkansas State team, they that that's the best win probably in history, honestly. Arkansas State advances, and, and they're looking to make a Cinderella run. But guys, that is going to do it for part one of my massive 133-team full FBS tournament. Make sure you're following me on X. Link to that's always in the description.